We're approaching the Banuk settlement of Keena's Rock. This is a small temporary settlement that we're going to learn a little bit more about in a second. That is the expansion in the frozen wilds. We're approaching the quest giver here, who is the chieftain of the White Teeth Werak. What are your hunters doing so far out here? We are of the White Teeth, come down from the jawbone of Banuor to test those who would run with us. A test? In those hunting grounds? No, it is an ordeal. Survive upon the glacier in the knife trail, as our ancestors did. It's been a harsh season. Two have yet to return. All right, so he's told us that they're here to test some initiates for their Werak. Uh, a Werak is sort of a Banuk grouping of people. It's smaller than a tribe, uh, and you were not born into one. Sounds good. So who are the White Teeth? Warriors, the first and the best. All young hunters hungry for the fight seek to run with us. Now the machines are angered. There was always fighting. Let's ask about the missing hunters. Probably a good idea. What about the two who haven't returned? It was their ordeal to face alone, their life or death. Those who return know the white teeth run alongside them. Those who do not know the white teeth marked their attempt. How generous. Okay, so I think we have all the essential information we need to go out and try to find the missing hunters, right? Yeah, I think so. All right, let's finish up this conversation. Unbelievable. So Aloy is kind of outraged here because she's discovering that the Banuk do work in a very different way to other tribes. The Banuk are very, very survivalist oriented. The highest things that you can do in their society are survive the most extreme conditions. So we're making our way out to the territory where the missing hunters were. So we're approaching one of the missing hunters up here, I think. And we can see there's a herd of machines down there on the ice floe. Yeah, I think I can see her. Let's get involved. Looks like she's in combat. These are some pretty simple machines. We can see that the hunter is helping us out here. She's disabled some of the machines. As we approach, she set off a trap. Which of them will challenge me? Huh? So it looks like some scavengers have shown up. Um, as we've destroyed the machines in the area, it's drawing them in. And it looks like we're going to see Aloy having a chance to fight alongside Ikri, which is something that we do a lot more in, in the expansion, is giving Aloy a chance to fight alongside the people she meets. We want to try to give players as many meaningful interactions with the uh, characters that you meet in the world as possible, fight in battle. So that's something that you see here. So we can see Ikri is on the other side freezing up some machines. Maybe you can take advantage of that? Yes. If I can get in close as she applies a frost effect, then I can use it to add additional damage to these scrappers. These scrappers seem a little tougher than usual, uh, and if I open up my focus, I can see why. So these are actually demonic scrappers. Demonic machines are a new aspect of the DLC and something that you will see as you travel around the expansion territory. Uh, the mystery behind them and where they come from is actually a central question of the expansion. It's her friend. All right. You fight well. I am a Cree. Thank you. I'm Aloy. I heard the White Teeth were missing two hunters. She snapped her leg descending the ice. I bided my time keeping vigil, but now she must return to the Werak before they leave. So right now I think we can learn a little bit more about the Werak from Ikri's point of view. So important to you. It's one of the great Weraks of Banor. Not so many great ones left now. I would go where my land went. I was her shadow on the snow and she was mine. So something I'd like to know a little bit more about probably is who we're actually here to help. I think if it's that's not a good Ikri. idea. So I'm going to ask about the injured hunter. Well, since our knees were always skinned, all my life, in a test to prove that we only need ourselves, that was my weakness. Sounds like she was lucky for your weakness. That's not the way she sees it. I think you want to follow that one up. Yeah. Mylan won't let you help her, will she? because of the rules of this test. You're quick as a rock fall. No, just used to being told what's forbidden to me. She won't allow it. Won't take the medicinal plants I found or the food, only what she can scrape up on hands and knees. 
I could get close when she was delirious. But now she's learned not to let me get close. So, yeah, let's go have a look for her friend, so Mei Lin. Back to the work. All right. I've made a splint for her leg. Medicine for the pain, but I should warn you, she won't take them willingly. The law of survival... Tribal law shouldn't keep us apart from the ones we care for. Even if she cares more for the law. So as we... And the way this sort of trial is structured, it almost seems like you succeed or you die, right? I think we hear exactly that from some other Banuk in, in the expansion. Aloy doesn't accept this. Even as an outcast of the Nora, she believes in helping people whenever she can. So she's happy to cause some consternation among the Banuk here and do what she thinks is right. I think that that's a major strength of who Aloy is as a character. She's so compassionate. And that runs contrary to a lot of what the Banuk chase after in some ways. It's very interesting to see how her own philosophy on life and the way, her way of doing things interact with the, the Banuk way of doing things. things. And whilst this is certainly the norm in the Banuk territories, not everyone is entirely on board with this way of thinking. So it's looking like you've got some pretty heavy mods on these, these weapons. Is this the sort of loadout you would expect to come in with, or do you think that players will have to build this up while they're in the expansion territory? I think that's a good question. You know, some of our players coming into the expansion will be level 50, and some of our players coming in the expansion will be level 30. And we have to build content that's fun for everyone. And so I think that regardless of how you come in, the kinds of things you can pick up in the expansion territory and the kinds of combat encounters we've built. There. All right, well, let's see how we go. So I'm seeing long legs. So how do you want to approach this fight? Then? We'll see how it starts me. I'm not sure if it will let me take a shot in the beginning before they're alerted. Oh, it looks like they may have spotted me. Okay, so with long legs, target number one is always the front sort of chest sack. When you blow that up, there's a massive concussion explosion. The moment of opportunity. Definitely worth targeting the machines that Ikri has already frozen. You can see it's doing a lot more damage. Absolutely. We've just got some reinforcements joining the fight. Some more scrappers have, have been called in. When it comes to scrappers, I really like to try to challenge them in melee. If you can get that heavy melee hit on them, they'll fall over. And if they fall over, you can finish them off with a critical strike. Now, this won't be easy, Aloy. So they've spotted a Scorcher incoming. A oh, Scorcher boy. is one of the new machines in the expansion. If you can freeze it and assess what we should be targeting. I'll try. So we can see some blaze canisters on its side there. Uh, but there's something on its back as well that we haven't quite got a chance to look at yet. The power generator. This machine is a lot faster than it might be worth trying to take advantage of some of the, the movement options we've got here. We've seen yeah. some zip lines around, a lot of climbable. I'm going to try to get away from it. The thing about Scorchers though, Scorchers can jump. They actually uh, are one of a few new machines that we've added in the expansion that can get to you almost wherever you want to go. This is in contrast to machines in the main game which don't have the same movement options as these new creatures. Blake could activate some fire resistant armor at the moment. We've chosen to use the shield weaver, but he did pick up some fire kiln root before. So Blake, if he was having trouble, could uh, craft and use a fire resist potion. All right, so you can now see that there is a fire resist icon under Aloy's health bar. And hopefully we can take a few more hits. I'm gonna keep trying to use frost because Frost will let me stack up the damage big time. And one of my favorite combos is the Rattler with Frost damage. I think I can take it out. There we go. All right. Let's look for Ikri's friend now, huh? Yeah. Maybe in this cave? I can feel her fever even in this cold. She shouldn't have been putting weight on this leg. She 
is awake. <sighs> Miss Outlander. You border here, Ikri? You think I went to the Nora homelands to find a spear to drive between us? I told you, the ordeal is mine, and mine alone. I will survive! Which would you rather keep, my Len? Your leg or your pride? Because I think you're gonna have to choose. So that completes the survivor.